My name is Monika Fleckenstein. I'm a professor at the Moran Eye Center and a clinician scientist at the Steele Center for Translational Medicine. We are honored that uh, our primer article on age-related macular degeneration got accepted by Nature Reviews Disease Primers. A primer article is a work that gives a global overview on a disease. And Disease Primers is a new journal in the prestigious Nature Reviews titles. And the aim is to give differential perspectives on a distinct disease. We hope that this review inspires our colleagues to think about AMD as a disease spectrum rather than a single disease. This primer is constructed to give the epidemiological perspective. Then there was a strong emphasis on mechanisms and pathophysiology. Stefan Spitz-Falkenberg and me, we were mainly focusing on the view coming from high resolution imaging and phenotyping. So for the last years, we as a research team uh, focused on the refined classification and phenotyping of age-related macular degeneration. And uh, by applying high-resolution retinal imaging and uh, sophisticated functional testing, we are able to identify different subtypes of AMD. And this is much broader than the original classification, early, intermediate, and late-stage AMD. Right now, with these high-resolution imaging technologies, we are able to identify disease stages, for example, between intermediate AMD and geographic atrophy that have not been visualized by fundoscopy or just color fundus imaging. We see detailed morphological changes and uh, we are able to classify these and to define these. And we hope that um, in the future, we are able to apply these structural biomarkers in clinical trials as outcome measures. We have the wonderful opportunity here to analyze the data that has been collected for 30 years by Gregory Hageman. And by applying new classification, uh, for example, in atrophic AMD, we are able to look much deeper in the disease processes to correlate with genetics and with functional changes. And the opportunity that is given to us here with the infrastructure and the already existing data is exceptional. Gergi Hegemann, he is a strong advocate of the idea that AMD is at least two different diseases driven either by chromosome 1 or chromosome 10. Our perspective is coming from the imaging field and from the phenotyping. And this is particularly exciting about this collaboration here at the SCTM that we bring these views together now. In the recent years, there is more and more evidence that neovascularization in AMD is not only a harmful process, and we actually start to see that there are protective components in choroidal neovascularization development. And there's a specific subtype called the type 1 or um, in the older term, occult CNV um, that is located between Brooks membrane and the RPE. And with new imaging technology like optical coherence tomography and geography, we are now able to detect these lesions in eyes that were earlier classified as dry AMD. So these lesions sometimes do not exudate, so they do not show these typical wet features of AMD. 
And uh, in our group, but also other research groups in the recent years have seen that on top of these lesions, the photoreceptors and the RPE appears to be protected. One strong emphasis in our future research work will be to prove this protective effect of some subtypes of choroidal nevascularization. And I'm really excited about uh, this idea because I think this will open a new therapeutic approach when we think about protection by choroidal neovascularization because in the past it was more that we want to prevent the development of CNV but now seeing that this could actually be a protective factor in AMD progression. We think this is a really exciting topic and may change the view on AMD in general.